Hey, what's up, you guys? So I'm at the Shreveport Regional. We're getting a deck profile with one of the decks that's doing really well at the top tables right now. What deck is this? Uh, this is Gravekeepers. Um, I chose it because I don't like top tier decks, and I've been playing this so long, it's still fun. All right, let's hop into this. Uh, of course, main, three spies, two descendants, everybody, you know, descendant, it's still good. It still wrecks things. No man is a good tech for the fact it giant rats grave keepers phase down, which basically makes your spy plays better. Uh, two recruiters. Uh, I run two. I don't care for three. Two is pretty legit right now for me. It's been working really, really well. I guess because I put different cards in and two commanders. Of course, you need to find your boss card if you don't have it, and if you have this, you know it makes it better. Uh, Shaman, good for effect cards in the graveyard, like uh, Shadal's really. And then whenever it's special summon, when Necro Valley is on the field, well, whenever it's on the field, when Necro Valley is on the field, Necro Valley can't be shot as long as it's on the field. And then it gets 200 defense for each Gravekeeper in the graveyard. Uh, Heretic, he's unaffected by anything as long as Necro Valley is on the field. Uh, the one T King, the majority of the decks that I see search, this really stops a lot of plays, so you really have to get over this just to, you know, finish off your combos. Dyna, a bunch of decks, you know, especially in that class, it special summon, so this really kind of stops their special summon in play, which means you would have to basically get over this, or basically, basically for me, they would think that it's a, a set spy and just run into it and lose their whole field. Uh, my uh, spells. Three Necro Valleys, boss card. Rick, the one Regeki. Dark Hole, I needed another destruction. Lately I've been seeing a bunch of things target and when you target all these things happen. So I'd rather just run the one Dark Hole instead of running two. Uh, one Book of Moon, Dimensional Fissure, Dualis. Uh, MST is still playable, but Necklace is as so I mostly sided. And the MVP, I love this card. I'm glad that it's back in the deck. But other than that, it stops a lot of uh, it stops a lot of plays, especially for Necro players. Shadal, it stops a lot. So depending on certain things, uh, traps, Imperial Tomb, Vanity, uh, Trap Tricks, uh, Trap Hole. I like, I prefer this than Bombers right now for the fact. Necklace is really being played a lot, so it kind of stops a bunch of their plays, I'm guessing. If I'm wrong, oh, I'm sorry. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. You know, uh, I play one Mirror Force, two Mind Crushes, every deck search, just in case I can't get to the uh, Thunder King. Two Phoenix Chains, Solemn Warning. Two deep prisons. I prefer deep prison over mirror force, for the fact it doesn't go to the graveyard. Just in case I don't have Necro Valley. Uh, Macro Cosmos. I am main decking. Yes, for gravekeepers. Ring of Destruction and Dark Bride. I prefer one of each, because sometimes I might not have a gravekeeper, and then sometimes I might need something, and I just prefer one of those. On my extra. Still, compulses. Down nerd. Uh, I've been hearing lately like supposedly uh, Shadows they they chill just like uh, Gravekeeper. So I just really put this in for that specifically. Uh, still, some cards target. I still run him. Uh, I don't know why I had this. I just want to put an extra card in. I haven't played this dude, but. He's still good. You have, with Ragnar Zero, you would have some of your, uh, what you call it, certain cards with like Tinky, Mirror Matches, with Grave Keepers, I'm guessing. Uh, 101, he's still good. He's a Snatch Steel still. Key Beetle, I'm running a bunch of Darks. Abyss Dweller for Burning Abyss, uh, Shadows. Uh, that's really it that I'm thinking about.
whenever I get the chance, I play him. But other than that, he's there just a half. For the fact that skill drain is to one, he's way better than Crazy Box. And plus, whenever he attacks, he goes into defense, which makes it real better for me to stall out. Uh, Rebellion Dragon, he's the girl of my exceeds. Why not, if I can't get over certain stuff, why not just take half and half and go ham? Heartland Drake or I run Necro Valley for the fact if I can't get over certain stuff, if they get rid of Rebellion, I could just attack directly. Cowboy, MVP, you know, whenever they have 800 or less, just win like that in our mateys. Uh, extra deck, I have triple anti spell fragrance. Two effect veilers. Uh, if I was wondering why I was running the Armadas, that's why. It's better than Phoenix Chain, every, depending on certain side matchups. Share Ride, self explanatory. Uh, Zach Zane, who? Uh, I was running anti, so, you know, it sets the cards. Why not target certain cards that they might need to not get back where they can't play in the meantime? And I could just go to Cinder and get rid of certain stuff. Maxi, a bunch of uh, deck special summon, so I want to have draw power to keep up with the pace of the decks. Mistaken, same reason why I have Thunder King main deck. A lot of cards search, and last but not least, Vanity. I didn't. Emptiness is down to one. Why not try to have that and Dinos in, in the same thing? But other than that, that's, that's it. So let me ask a few questions about your rounds today. So. You have basically been undefeated against Necroz and Shadals today. Yes. How do those matchups go for Gravekeepers? Because it seems like it'd be like an older, antiquated deck, but you pretty much just bopped them, so... Well, I, I'm not going to say it's luck. You know, I've really been playtesting to really get the concept of how things are being played now, but the reason why, I guess, the Necroz was easy for the fact I had Necro Valley, which it kind of minus itself to not bring back or banish certain cards. And I was running Macro and Fissure, where it would just banish a bunch of stuff, and you know they rely on certain things. So, and the Shadows Shaman really helps a lot. Uh, macro and Dimensional Fissure, you know, the whole concept of the Gravekeeper's deck is, you know, you really got to keep up with the metal. But it's just that how to put it is. You know, I had to take out a lot of stuff just to, you know, keep up with the paces of the deck. But, you know, it, it wasn't hard for me. I 2 0 I, I went 3 0 until recently. I went 2 0 Necklaws the first match, second match, 2 0 uh, Shadows, third match, 2 0 Necklaws, and then I went play Quilts, which was irrelevant as hell to me. But they won Skill Dream. Fuck y'all. But, you know, I lost. Man played it. Man had faith in the deck. You know. Of course, it's still a deck, so, and then against me is a bad matchup. Other than that, you know, I'm here to have fun, you know, enjoy myself, meet new people. That's about it. All right, well, I appreciate the deck profile. Remember, guys, if you liked it, leave a comment and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Thanks again. Thank you.